Hey guys, so Jitendra here from Domain Fresh right now. So it's day two. So I'm with Jotan Frex right now. So Jotan, just introduce yourself. Hey, ah. hey uh, well, hello, and uh, I'm really glad to be here with you. I mean, it's a delight to meet you, first of all. Yeah. Uh, it's a treat, and uh -huh. it's a privilege to have the opportunity to get interviewed. Um, uh -huh. So uh, my name's Jonathan Frakes, and I've been in the domain industry for uh, just above 20 years now. So you have like, experience on 20 years right now in domaining. Yes, uh, yes. Well, uh, domaining, I've run registries, I've run registrars, uh, I've started uh, four or five different conferences. I run... Uh, a conference now I helped uh, co-found and co-produce. It's called NamesCon, and it's every uh, January in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, we're here talking at Domain Fest Asia, uh, but I helped uh, to expand the Domain Fest brand over the course of a decade with yeah. uh, okay. Oversea.net and with uh, now with uh, NamesCon, the current owners. NamesCon, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. so this is a culmination. Domain Fest is uh, uh, basically Edmond Chong and I. Uh, it, at one of the domain fests to, in 2007, uh, said, "Hey, we got to take this to Asia." Okay. And great. and so here we are. It's eight years later, but we're doing it right. So, so how this domain fest is going right now? How many expected audience are there right now in domain fest? You know, right now we have uh, we had planned for about 150. We're pretty close to that. So okay, I think it's great. a it's a good turnout. Um, good, and good the turnout. mix of people is good too. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's uh, it's probably about 60 uh, percent. I would say people from I'm going to be loose and say Asia, Asia huh, which huh. is, you know, Asia is a spectrum, of course. Spectrum. Uh, but we have a lot of folks that came over from Europe and, uh, and the, the U.S. and North, uh, North America and Canada and other North places, America too. North America and Canada. Okay. And, and folks from Australia as well. So okay, great, great. All over the globe. Okay. So how many domain names you have you own right now? How oh, many me? Domains? Yeah. Yeah, so I own about 7,500 names. 7,500 names you yes, own right I now? Yes, I do, That's I do. Great, I have great, a lot of uh, .com. So it's what probably TLDs the majority. you hold? You hold only .coms, .asia, .org, .net? Mix, yeah, mix? yeah, it's a mix. It's a mix, but I would say the majority are .com. You know, so .com is... Uh, um, and, and the ruling domain. Uh, well, I, you uh, know, it's, it's popular because it's, it's been popular. around for 30 years. It's established, right? Established. And so, uh, I mean, for, yeah. for, for 20 years, there was com network, and yeah, yeah. com uh -huh. dominated that. Yes, you know, yes, and then right, if right. you needed a secondary, you could get NAD or org. Uh -huh. uh, and then new TLDs started to be introduced, like... Uh, right now, .tv is there, .mobi, and sure. .xxx is coming. So many domain extensions are coming right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's even newer ones. Now there's dot newer. .beer, and there's dot dot beer. .movie, and uh, there's dot, a .desi. Dot .desi. So do you think that's these new domain extensions hold a value for a buyer or a seller? Do, so what do you think about this new domain extension? I, I, I'm, I'm of a split mind in this. Split yeah? mind. Okay. Because, uh -huh. uh, well, it's it's got to get its perpetual motion, right? It's a perpetual motion machine. Uh -huh. So .com took... 20 years 20 years to yeah. kind of get some perpetual motion uh -huh. let's say let's say it took 10 years until 10 95 years. Uh -huh. and then started its exponential growth curve uh -huh. and uh, you know and so now we're at a very nascent moment it's two years after the launch of some of the new TLDs new TLDs and uh -huh. uh, you know it's very hard to expect what level of a cricket player a two-year-old person is right However, a 30-year-old uh, cricket player, you, you have a good idea where they're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, and right. so, uh -huh. um, but, but the thought is there's lots of really good opportunity to make uh, content match what you would expect to visit. Dot com is really a very generic term. It's a, it's a very generic term. So, yeah, yeah, and so you don't know if you're going to get a bakery or a blog or... Uh -huh. Uh, you know, a dry cleaner yeah. or uh -huh. a porn site if you go to a dot .com. Dot Whereas com. with, uh, you know, like, for example, dot, um, right beer. Right now for the porn, there's dot .sex domain extensions coming, dot .triple X domain extensions. So there's dot .porn, there's dot, dot porn. .adult. Yeah. So um, these domains do have value or so what do you think about these domains? Extensions. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, so, you know, specifically about the adult. I mean, the adult yeah. industry drove uh, a lot of the innovation in, in the Internet we enjoy. Yeah, I mean, right. uh -huh. streaming video. Streaming I mean, the videos. streaming video you're watching right now, uh -huh. folks, uh -huh. um, it's probably likely that adult entertainment actually drove that technology and uh -huh. made it affordable, affordable in early right. stages. Yeah, uh -huh. Adult has always pushed the technology to be better and better of a delivery right, system. Right, now, right. Uh -huh. we don't want to talk about adult in this. I'd uh -huh. rather talk about domain names. Yeah. Uh -huh. And domain names, um, you know, there's there's uh, there's dot .tv, which dot is TV. Uh, yeah. Tuvalu. It's actually Easy a country word. code, right? Yeah. But, but because it's got some context, 
and the internet was absent all that similar type of context, uh -huh. uh, people really latched onto it as being associated with television. Television, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And now we've got .org that have done an exceptional job for uh, NGOs and not profits. Uh -huh. And now they've got .ong, .ong. and, and uh -huh. um, .ngo. And, and those are going to be great for nonprofit organizations so non globally. Organization. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and each of these has an opportunity to introduce more categorization uh -huh. so that it's easier to find things. Easier to find things. Yeah. Well, if you look at industries like, um, take a look at television. Yeah. Uh, you know, in television, uh, there's there's channels where it's entirely sports all the time. Nine gag dot TV. Is there pardon? Nine gag dot TV. It's a very huge dot TV, famous dot TV extension. It's mm. having the, all the featured video, mm. so video content is there. It's oh, very okay. famous. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, well, um, you know, for for uh, for television, mm -hmm. like, um, and I'm and I'm going back to just talking about like broadcast television or broadcast. cable television. Um, there's different channels that have different purposes. Uh, mm. There's sports channels, and there's news channels, and there's right. movie, channels. movie channels. So, um, you know, you've really gone away from mm. where you had a network that had a variety of different content. Variety of different content. And then, uh -huh. but on one network, and now it's split out, so there's different networks different where you can networks. find what you're looking for. What and that has mean? value. If you think about, um, uh, I can talk a lot about the U.S. Uh, yes. uh, TV advertisers. Um, there's a show called um, uh, The Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, yeah. You have, it, I'm, and I think it's, I, when I was in Bangalore, Bangalore, I remember it was on the show, on TV there. So uh, in the U.S., though, when that, a new episode comes on of that, it costs 350000 U.S. dollars to advertise for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, oh, man. $350,000. So if I'm an advertiser and I want to sell a cooking pan, mm -hmm. yeah, and and uh, and I have a budget of $350,000, I can go for whoever might be watching that particular show and get a lot of people and hope that a percentage of them yeah. might want to buy my product. Yeah. Or I can buy almost a whole day, in fact, a whole week worth of time on multiple occurrences of my advertisement on a, on a cooking-based channel. Uh, okay. Right, <laughs> and so, and I know that somebody watching a cooking-based channel, so they will buy. Uh, they're they're going to probably be interested in a pan. They can be a buyer, yeah. And so, it's more likely they'll uh, be a buyer. And so, I'm able to, you know, focus and narrow how I spend in smart ways, and cater it to doing intelligent all, things yeah. with with what my marketing budget is being spent for. Uh, right, and so. Um, magazines have done this too. There's mm -hmm. very specialized magazines that, that focus now on specific things. I can uh, find a magazine yeah. about, uh, you know, uh, dnjournal.com. Just like well, DN Journal is a perfect mm -hmm. example. Like perfect Ron Jackson, yeah, he's Ron an Jackson exceptional is. reporter. Um, domains, yeah. And and uh, and his his is very much focused on the domain name business. And also Names Pros is Name Pros. Name Pros is also exceptional. Yeah. And and uh, it's a domain separa. Domain Absolutely. Separa. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and even with you, with your social media efforts yeah, and how right. popular you've become with social media. Yeah, right. I mean, it's uh, it's amazing that, that that's possible with the technology. Okay. So with domain names, yeah. I took the long way around the barn instead mm. of the short way, uh -huh. but but there was a purpose for that. Um, when I when I go and I look at domain names now right. with these new categories, right. like dot travel and dot movie and dot fashion, you mm. know, I have a better understanding of the website that I visit. Being something that I can uh, I can get to and use, mm -hmm. and uh, and so that'll help me find what I'm looking for. And ultimately, the internet is a place where you're finding then what you you're looking for. you're looking for. Yeah. So how did you start it within this domain business? You you from where you got this idea that you should invest in domains, you should buy these domains. So how did you got these ideas? Well, I got in I got in early and I got in late. So I, okay. my first domain name I registered was Jothan.com, which Jothan. I registered in okay. 1995. Uh -huh. And I, I, uh, I didn't really buy more domain names until later on. Later on, okay. Uh, and uh, and I, you know, I learned to regret that because there's tools now on the internet where you can find what else was registered that uh -huh. same day. Who is? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, and uh -huh. and uh, you know, there's names like television.com and things uh -huh. that were registered on the same day uh -huh. that I could have had, uh -huh. yes. and I would be far too wealthy and important to right. be talking with you right now if yeah. I had done those things. But uh -huh. or, or I might be here talking with you. But uh -huh. but. Uh, those are people who made a significant income, income from, the from, from buying and selling these selling popular domains. names. Yeah. So what domains you basically invest? Is there any uh, niche market that you want to invest in cooking domains or hosting domains? Is there mm -hmm. any niche market mm -hmm. you, you focus on investing in or buying domains? You know, for me, it's technology-based. Technology-based. Uh, yeah. Example, any 
example you would like to show that well, you have uh, from from yeah, so for me, I'm mostly in the registry business and registry understanding business. a lot around domain names. Uh -huh. um, so the names that I register are actually around supporting uh -huh. the name business. Right. Um, I also have a significant portfolio of fourletter.coms. Fourletter.coms you yes. have right now. Yes, yes. Right. Uh -huh. uh, and then a lot of generics in non-com TLDs. Non-com Yeah, yeah. So .cc, I have a large portfolio of .ccs. .ccs. I have a large portfolio inside of um, a variety of different uh, uh, CC TLDs. Okay, okay. So what are other copyright issues having these domains? Are there any issues if whenever you're buying these domains? You know, I, I advise people to avoid knowingly registering a trademark. It's a, trademark. It's a foolish thing to do. You know, I mean, hey, don't go out and register... Uh, uh, Adobe dot something Adobe because dot Adobe is right, a well known brand, coming, yeah. right? Right. This PayPal dot me yeah. scenario that's going on and, and happening right it's now. Happening, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Uh, you know, PayPal is a globally recognized brand. Globally they have brand. trademarks up the wazoo. You can't possibly accidentally do that. It, somebody had to have deliberately, you know, made Just that registration for the sake of money. I can think of zero well, money well quite often I'd, I'd suspect that's the case. I mean, yeah. I can't say what was in the person's mind when yeah. they registered it, but uh -huh. I can't think of anything good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what are the suggestions that you would like to give to the newbies who, are, who just want to enter into this domain oh. business? Because newbies invest money and they lost. I've heard about... Well, it's incidents. like anything. I mean, yeah. I've done that with the stock market. I've done that with real estate. I've uh -huh. done, I mean, it's very easy. I would say, you know, come to conferences, read the blogs. Read There's the a blogs. lot of good information that's out there. Yeah. Make sure to inform yourself. And, okay. and in fact, you know... Um, you'll find this here this week, and I'm yeah. sure you're already noticing yeah, this, I think, yeah. how welcoming this industry is. Yeah, we welcome. really like to have new people come in. The new people coming yeah, in. Yeah, and we yeah. want to help them understand how to be successful. How to be successful. I think you heard that in the keynote with Dr. Greg McNair, how he likes to make people successful around him. Successful Everyone in this industry is doing well. Doing well. They want to help others do well, too, yeah, because right. you know we, we can't hog it. Yeah, it, doesn't, yeah. it, it right, only right. benefits yeah. if we all benefit. Right. And uh, the saying is, what is it? The rising tide lifts all boats. Huh. And so oh, right. as we bring in newcomers, yeah. um, educate yourself. Come to conferences like so names. you should read blogs to get updated about domains, how you yeah. invest money. So yes, this is the best course. way to gain some good knowledge about domains. Look, always educate yourself. Educate I, I mean, yourself. Don't, yeah. don't go in blindly. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, NamesCon is a conference I mentioned. Yeah. It's, it's in, in January, in every, uh, every January in Las Vegas. NamesCon.Vegas yeah. Names. is the domain for this, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have to guess what city it's in. It's, yeah. in, it's in Las Vegas. Vegas. It's Vegas, yeah. yeah. Great, great. And then uh, DomainFest.Asia. Yeah, it's coming. The yeah. conference we're at. We're in yeah. Asia in having Asia. a Domain Fest. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but, but come to these conferences because you'll learn and you'll you actually learn. meet people who are having some success and, and you can talk to them and learn about it. Learn about it. Yeah. So so my last question, what are your expectations from Domain Fest right now? Expectation any expectation? Domain you Fest have? Asia. Wow. Well so Domain Fest Asia has been a real learning curve because yeah. uh, you know, I, and and I've learned this. I spent a lot of time in India, actually, yeah. uh, over you the have last been three to years. India? Oh, I love it. Bangalore. I loved okay. it. I, I was. You know what? This is actually a perfect example for somebody learning the domain space. Um, you can watch the panicked look on a Westerner's face when they get into a car in India, because of the differences in how they're driving, right? Yeah. But right, right, right. if you if you get in. And you trust that the driver trust will the get driver. you safely to where you where you yeah. decided, and, and don't worry about how you got there. How you got there. You'll uh -huh. you'll be okay. You will and and uh, like yeah. anything new, uh -huh. you 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 learn that there's a, a rhythm to things, a pattern rhythm to things. To things. Yeah. Um, and and so, but but the other thing that I learned that's very important and fundamental, is that that uh, an Indian person, what they want, what they need, is not identical, in that market, uh -huh. but nor is the approach of having a discussion with that discussion. sophisticated buyer, uh -huh. uh, uh, it's not the same as if you would talk to someone in Germany someone or German. talk to in uh, you know South America. <laughs> South America. It's yeah. totally different, and you have to be culturally appropriate about appropriate, how you yeah. how you work. Um, I, I will tell you, it took me a long time to figure out what this meant <laughs> because we don't we don't have <laughs> we this. Don't, but yeah, I figured right, it right. out. Uh -huh. I figured it out, uh -huh. and. Um, and what a graceful place it was to be. I mean, I just absolutely miss Perfect. the food and the people. It's wonderful. We miss you at Domain X. You miss Domain I X. really yeah. regret missing yeah. that. It looks yeah. like Menmi put together quite a show. Yeah. The Taj yeah. is a wonderful, yeah. lovely location, and, and yeah. you had some great guests there. Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah. Yeah. so i hope you enjoy this interview by sharing some good knowledge to my readers readers who are looking into this who are looking forward for this domain I, I, absolutely and yeah. come come to uh, names conduct vegas names come come in coming, january yeah. please do <laughs> and i hope we'll for... we'll be uh, doing some blogging together more about yeah, this too yeah sure 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 yeah. I'll, I'll be blogging so it's an absolute I... treat to have the opportunity thank, thank you. you thank you jotan thank you for the opportunity thank you yes. thank you yeah.